Now there's one final filter that I can't go without mentioning because it's my old favourite and it's the vignette. And uh, you know, I, if you've been watching Fellow Walks for a while, you know I love my vignettes. So we've got uh, a variety of shapes available to us. We've got a, a circular one, we've got a sort of an oval one, and we've got a square one, and then we've got something that looks a bit sort of like a crinkly square. Um, and uh, we can roll over these and see how they look. It just took a moment or two to set up again there. Uh, I like the oval one, and um, uh, we've got a variety of sliders here, but these affect for example how the edges look and how fast that transition goes how big our uh, vignette is and of course the most important the opacity but before I take that opacity down I'm going to just do something that I can't do in for example Lightroom I'm going to choose a color for our vignette out of our image and I'm going to choose it out of these beads because remember I said I want yellows and blues contrasting here? So I'm going to add a little bit of blue around the edge by choosing a blue out of the image. I'm going to choose it from these beads. So I'm going to choose a sort of a mid-tone to dark color blue from a little shadowy area on the beads. Now you can see that's added that sort of bluey, turquoisey, cyanish color around the background, around the edge there. And now I'm going to just drag that opacity all the way down and then up a little until it's sort of comfortable. And that's looking pretty good to me. I think maybe one final little bit of extra contrast just to boost that up a little bit. And then when I get back to uh, Lightroom, I might just push the saturation up a little on there as well. So let's do that. Let's hit the Save button and take this image back to Lightroom and finish up. Here we are back in Lightroom. Lightroom spotted that the image has been updated. It's, uh, it's loaded the edited version in look. Um, and as I said, I think my final steps are just going to be to push the saturation up just a shade. And I'm looking at those eyes and seeing a little bit, little bit too much blue in the whites of the eyes there. So I'm going to use the brush just to do a saturation edit. I'm not explaining this because we're not really doing Lightroom today, but um, all I'm doing is doing an adjustment brush edit. I'm doing a negative saturation and I'm just going to paint um, an edit in to take that little bit of blue out of the whites of the eyes there. Just as All I'm doing is desaturating that area because I don't want it to look like the colors are a bit weird. I want you know, and we we look naturally at eyes to start with, so so there we go. That's that's a final little adjustment there. And what we've got left is hopefully some sort of yellows and brights, yeah, oranges and stuff in the skin, the lovely yellow hair, and mostly blue elsewhere. And uh, I think that's looking pretty darn good. So I hope you agree. Thank you very much for watching. My final thoughts on uh, Nick Color Effects Pro Four. I absolutely love it. I definitely recommend it. And uh, I would definitely suggest getting the complete collection rather than the uh, the select version. I think once you've got used to those select ones, you're going to want the rest as well. Um, and also, don't forget that if you do buy the full complete collection of Nick plugins, uh, although the complete, complete collection that works in Photoshop and Lightroom and uh, um, Aperture uh, is uh, available. If you only work with Lightroom, you can save yourself some money by getting the Lightroom only version. Or likewise, you can get the uh, Aperture only version if you're an Aperture person. So don't forget those options are there. It does make it much more affordable to buy everything that Nick do. And uh, you can't go wrong with that because Viveza is great. Uh, Silver FX Pro is great. Uh, HDR FX Pro is great. And, as, and this as well. Uh, they're all really good. Define, Sharpen. Their complete collection is very good. I'll do more with the Nick plugins in the future. Uh, but for now, I am loving color effects pro 4 i recommend it go out and get it catch you next time bye bye photo walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using photoshop and lightroom please help support the show by using our sponsors promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. Mm -hmm.